Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. I'm wandering around the great state of Texas this week, exploring places that I've never been, didn't even know existed, and I found Proctor Lake. I did not know there was a, such a thing as a Proctor Lake. And right now, I am at Sowell Sowell Swell. We'll call it Swell Creek Park Sowell on Proctor Lake. Corps of Engineer Campground. I've got a little red, the high speed mobility scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. But best of all, I have you. So let's go take a ride through this beautiful little park. All right. off to a little bit of a slow start as we come through the gate. Now there is a keypad access on at, at Swell, Swell Creek Campground. There's also a day use area, but currently it's underwater. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. For the moment, we're gonna first start our tour with the boat ramp, some RV sites, some flooded RV sites, and then we'll finish up over where Trudy Thunder is set up in the full connection loop. Now currently, Proctor Lake is in excess of 10 feet above conservation level. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a bridge over there. I was on that bridge earlier, and there's actually a flood gauge on the bridge, five feet higher than the, than the bridge. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about the bridge, and I'm not talking about what you not want to know. So that's the courtesy dock out there. In there somewhere is the boat ramp. I presume it's where that street light pole is. Anyway, it's flooded. The point I'm trying to get at is this lake is well known to flood. I was supposed to be camping at a campground on the other side of the lake, but it's completely closed as a result of flooding, of course. So these are all 30 and water sites. And the nice young lady at the, the guard house was telling me that this part of the campground is, is more popular with families with children. Because it's adjacent to the beach. This peninsula are 30 and electric, 30 amp and electric sites also. Now if the lake wasn't so high, these would be some really nice sites. But currently they have this, this loop closed for RVs. You can't camp here if you wanted to. Now there's a fishing dock, but I don't see any way to get to it. I mean, there's not even a ramp.
Yes, believe it or not, I am stopping at a stop sign. I know. Those of you who follow on a regular basis know that Little Red feels that stop signs with white edges, white borders, those are optional for high-speed mobility scooters. Now over here, we have a nice big group pavilion. That'll accommodate about a dozen RVs with electricity and water. Now I notice someone has gone through here like that. I have not been down here. Not even sure if it's allowed. Wouldn't take much more water for this to be completely submerged. And we've come to the end of this road. much for that little run. It has really surprised me in the last three days I've been camped here. The number of local residents who have come out to see the, the high water. Now if you're interested in doing some uh, work camping, volunteering. Back in here is where the volunteer campsites are. And as you can see, they are empty. We're taking a little shortcut. We might get to see some deer. Of course, little red freaks deer out, so they, they don't hang out when they when, when when we're coming down the road. All right, speed limit 25. All right, let's see if we can do 25. This goes down to the day use area. but it's technically closed. So Proctor Lake is on the Leon River. And there's a couple of big creeks that converge where the lake is. From what people were, have been telling me, it rises, it floods fast. So if you're gonna plan a trip out here, I would recommend it being during the summer or fall. Because we're in, into June now, and we're still getting monsoon rains, which is rather odd. Well, 
picnic sites and the beach are locked. Fishing dock, we might be able to sneak in there. But if nothing else, we get a really fast ride on an empty road. reached the end so there's a fishing platform down there but it's underwater all right we're gonna head back now since we hit a dead end be a very pretty day. fishing dock lots of fishing dock opportunities 
on this lake. All right, gotta climb, gotta do some switchbacks. This is all day use down here. It looks like it's been closed off for quite a while. Judging by that place structure, on the tour here we go all right go back through that little narrow walk through opening I assume that's what this is I mean why else would they have it With all the other places have been unacceptable now we get to go fast. It was downright chilly yesterday morning. No, this morning. It was downright chilly this morning. What am I saying? It was like 56 degrees. slow down a little bit because we don't want to have an encounter we're now breaking the law breaking the law all right we're gonna zip through I don't remember if I did this loop or not I don't think I did so we're gonna go through here even if we did we'll do it twice these are all 30 in water I think there would be, some of these would be really tough to get level in if you had a longer RV. All right, now we'll head to the full connection loop that does accommodate really big RVs. this road just so you know and I think it's important to bring it to your attention because I did it twice it dead ends here at the bathroom and twice now as I was driving out here enjoying this scenery I missed this turn These are the nicest sights in the park. Right here. Especially that one, number four. Loop back around. Coming in for a landing. <laughs> Those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate you riding along with me. 
If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be truly honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why, that's why I get to do what I do and get to see places like this, thanks to you. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?